Okay, you guys are back, PlayStation fans, Xbox fans. And you know the last time I made a video like this, I said this. And yes, it's true, Xbox is one. And before that, I also said this. I still believe the Xbox Series S is better than ugh, the PlayStation 5. Now, if you're a PlayStation fan, you're here to fight because the title says Xbox Game Pass dominates PlayStation Plus Premium. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the title. But there's a reason I make this video. It's because I like competition and I want Sony to deliver something that really is enticing. Now, I think Sony has come up with something that's quite interesting with brand new PlayStation Plus. It's got three new tiers, plus it's got uh, extra and it's got premium going against Xbox Game Pass, PC console, and Game Pass Ultimate. So, how do they actually fare in terms of performance? But before we do that, we're gonna be showcasing games on this video and also just the whole idea on a gaming projector. This is the BenQ X3000i gaming projector. It's a 4K gaming projector. It does 4K 60, 1080p 120 HDR projector with two HDMI ports. So I connected both my consoles to it and was able to game. That is actually pretty cool. I love this projector because it does up to 100 feet and I am using the Vivid Storm projector screen, which is automated. I can retract and I can drop down. You can also mount it by getting the mounted version. Great. I'll leave the links for both of them below. Honestly, it was a fun gaming experience, but Without even wasting more time, let's go ahead and check out what PlayStation Plus, the new PlayStation Plus, has to offer. So PlayStation Plus has three plans, and let's compare and see what those plans actually look like. So we have the Premium, Extra, and Essentials. Now, all three plans have some basic uh, features that are there, and those basic features are monthly games, online multiplayer, PlayStation Plus collection, exclusive discounts, exclusive packs, cloud storage, game help and share play. With the extras though, you do have the games catalog. So you have some of the game catalog, not the whole thing. Now premium, which is what I have, that also includes cloud streaming, game trials, and the classic cloud catalog. So let's go into PlayStation Plus Premium, which is what I have. And let's see what we have for some of these services. So there is the classic catalog that shows you a lot of the classic games. You see Last of Us here. We also have Uncharted. There's some games which you're allowed to stream uh, or download depending on what it is. Then you also have just the game catalog itself. Now this also includes PlayStation 5 games. So games like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, which I purchased, um, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Demon, Demon, uh, Demon Souls. So you have that ability there. We move over to game trials. Now this is very straightforward. You can actually try the games you wanna play. So that is also quite interesting. Uh, you can go ahead to say Cyberpunk, download the trials, or you can buy the game. And then finally, of course, the main big thing, of course, is cloud streaming as well. And you can view the games there that you want to actually go ahead and stream and play. So you've got Death Stranding, you can download or stream. So some of these games have download capabilities, but you can also stream them as well. If you look at the amount of games here, I'm just scrolling through, it's a pretty large catalog for streaming games as well. So. PlayStation does have a lot of games to stream, maybe not all the games you want, but they do have a lot of games to stream here um, on the PlayStation 5 itself. So again, this is a large catalog of games to actually stream. Seeing uh, what PlayStation Plus Premium brings to the table and how does it compare to Xbox Game Pass? So taking a look at Game Pass here, we can go in and we can see all the games we actually wanna play. So it shows all games, go ahead and do that. And this shows you all the different games and it tells you where it's coming from, Xbox 360, also EA Play or Game Pass, depending on which partner they're using. Uh, and it also shows you if it's uh, Xbox Series S or S compatible, like you see with Aragami 2 there, or if it hasn't been updated yet. So you do have that showcasing uh, for all the games. And you can scroll through, and you can see all the games available on Game Pass. Um, all the way down, still quite a few games, quite a lot of games there. So that is something pretty uh, straightforward to see. If you go to your full library, you have this simple breakdown of saying Xbox Game Plus 100 plus games, uh, EA Play 92. Now, it's more than 100 plus games. Now you're probably thinking, well, PlayStation 
says they have about 700 games downloadable uh, to stream, which is quite impressive. But you can see here, you also have EA games as well. So there are a lot of EA games you can actually go ahead and download or play uh, via streaming, which is quite interesting. So you've got Battlefield 1, which you can play or stream. It's pretty straightforward here. Now, what are the differences and what do we think now that we've actually seen all this together? Okay, that was a lot of stuff, but how do they stack up together? Now we've seen what they actually bring to the table and let's go through category by category. Let's start off with first with games. This one is pretty clear and actually surprising for some people out there. PlayStation Plus Premium, by the way, Premium has more games than Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Yes, PlayStation Plus Premium has up to 700 games, Game Pass Ultimate about three to 400 games in there. So they're just more games here. But here's the caveat, PlayStation Plus Premium has more older games, PS3, PS4 games, PS2 games, while Xbox Game Pass Ultimate has more newer games from Series X and S, but down to the last generation Xbox. So more newer games on Game Pass, more older games on uh, PlayStation Plus Premium. Now, when it comes to PlayStation Plus Extra and PlayStation Plus um, Regular or Essential, Essential has no extras, so honestly, I would just say don't get that at all. PlayStation Plus Extra does have all the games to play if you're looking for that older catalog, but PlayStation Plus Premium is the way to go. Now, the other thing to look at, of course, is accessibility, right? PlayStation Plus Premium allows you to download your games and stream your games, which is great. And it's very clear, it tells you which games you downloaded, which games you own, which games you can stream, all pretty clear on the interface. I do like that aspect about it. But here's the caveat though, Xbox Game Pass also does the same thing. You can do that on your console, but Xbox Game Pass can do much more. We know that you can play on your PC. We know you can play on your uh, smartphone, whether it's your Android smartphone, your iPhone, you can play in your iPad, a tablet, and of course, starting really soon, your 2022 Samsung TV. So you've got more options to actually game on, which makes it more accessible and a better buy, and you do not need a console for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate while you do need a console for PlayStation Plus Premium. So there's an extra cost to that. That's an extra $500 just to play uh, PlayStation Plus Premium. Remember that. What about first party titles? This is where I have mixed feelings because I think Sony can do much more and I'm gonna give them some advice as well. So we know very well with Xbox Game Pass, you're gonna get all Microsoft first party games. Straightforward, you're gonna get all Microsoft first party games. That includes your Halos, your Gears of War, your Forzas, as well as also everything from Bethesda. Uh, whether it's Dishonored, whether it's Prey, whether it's Doom, whether it's the Duke Nukem Death series, um, whether it's, um, you know, Starfield is coming out. Tons of games, and all the previous games they have on there right available. Plus, you do have EA access as well. So you do have access to EA games, including the newer EA games on there. So that's a big plus. And Microsoft just announced a partnership to bring in Riot Games as well. So you have that there. And don't forget, we do have that acquisition of Activision coming in. So there's so much value baked into that price point that you see with Xbox Game Pass. As opposed to PlayStation where there are a lot of older third-party games, older PlayStation games, but in terms of first-party new PlayStation games, we do not have a lot right now. I'm not saying they won't be, just not a lot right now. There's Miles Morales, there's Nocturnal in there. We have Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft is playing friendly with everybody. You have Assassin's Creed as well on there, uh, PlayStation uh, with the Xbox Game Pass uh, as well, but not a lot of those first-party games we love. Now, this is my advice to PlayStation. You should do two things. I'm gonna say one of two things, but just do two things here. One, just make sure every first-party Sony game is on PlayStation Plus. Simple, make that uh, a standard. PlayStation Plus Premium, you can put it on Premium for all I care, but make sure they're all there. Day one, that day one sell is such a huge thing. It means that, look, when Forza comes out, I don't have to buy it. I just pick up my controller, I start gaming. That is huge. The second thing is also your remastered games. Put that on PlayStation Premium. Now, if you don't have Premium, you can buy the games for $70. But if you have Premium, you can stream it. 
that should be a given. And also you can buy it separately if you want to, but I think that will be an added additive. And I think finally I'm adding a third one here, I said two. Look, just put all Fantasy, Final Fantasy on PlayStation Plus Premium. We know that, look, that is just a huge thing. That's one of your big partners. Put the Final Fantasy games on there because that will bring people in. Simple, straightforward. Sony has brought something to compete. There is really solid competition. If you look at the price points here, PlayStation Plus Premium is $17.99 a month, $120 a year, compared to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, that is $45 for three months and $180 for a year. Yes, you can get it cheaper at around $22, $23, so that pricing actually changes and brings it closer to around $160 or so. But still, it is a cheaper option with more games, but less accessibility and less um, you know, first party games or top tier games you wanna play. That is the difference PlayStation which you can fix and bring over. But the big hurdle, and I'm gonna repeat this again, is for you to use Xbox Game Pass, all you need is Game Pass, a controller, and whatever device you have. And for you to use PlayStation Plus Premium, all you need is PlayStation Plus Premium, your controller, and of course, your PlayStation 5. So it's gonna cost you more money to play and play all the games you want to than it will with Xbox Game Pass. So to me, say hate to say it, Xbox Game Pass still dominates. I'm not saying that PlayStation Premium is bad. I'm just saying that right now they're behind, but they're also, look, this is just the early stages and I think they can do more and I can't wait to see more from PlayStation. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna talk quickly about that projector again because I really like it. Uh, the, just to give you some more things about it, while I was gaming on projector, played my, uh, my games on Game Pass, on PlayStation Plus Premium on there, uh, the games played really well. It does have built-in speakers. It's not portable, so which means you have to plug it in. It's kind of heavy, but you want something that's really bright like this, can do in daytime or nighttime, really solid, so you can actually access all your games and play all your games effectively, be it PlayStation Plus Premium or, of course, Xbox Game Pass. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Sony has actually come to compete and maybe they've won? You think I'm wrong? Or do you think Xbox still holds the crown as having the best game streaming service? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.